Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. It's great to have you back here. And this week, we're going to talk about the two big European soccer cup finals that are coming up this week. And of course, I mean the Europa League final and the Champions League final, which will both take place this week, uh, Wednesday, May 29th, and Saturday, June 1st. Now, before we get to that, let me just remind you, you can go to the Z Code System blog and you can check out all of the great words that we have there and picks and predictions and get up to date on anything, whether it be NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, or soccer going on in Europe. So let's focus on the Europa League and Champions League. But before we get to that, let me remind you about the Z Code A Meter Cash Contest. Each 10 wins, the cash price is yours. So, of course, everyone is in. So get on over there, get over to the blog and check that out and find out how you can get involved with the Z Code Meter Cash Contest. And all that information is there on the blog. And you can go there, sign up, as well as you can check out things on the VIP wall. So, guys, without further ado, let's get over to the VIP picks for the Europa League and the Champions League final. So, guys, as you can see here, we got Arsenal taking on Chelsea. They're going to be playing the Europa League final on Wednesday night, May the 29th. And that game is going to be going on in Baku, Azerbaijan, uh, as the neutral site for that. And this is going to be a very big game for two Premier League rivals. These are two London teams uh, with just a few miles separating them there in the capital city. Now, this is going to be a game in which both teams are going into it burning hot, as you can see. Both finished the season very well in both the Europa League and the Champions. Sorry, the Europa League and the Premier League. That is, uh, Chelsea were able to qualify for the Champions League with a third place finish in the Premier League. So they'll be playing there next year. Arsenal not quite so so good there at the end. They did finish fifth, uh, which will get them in the Europa League next year. Now the winner of this does automatically qualify for the Champions League. So if Arsenal can lift the cup, they will go ahead and qualify for the Champions League next year. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the game. Arsenal going into this with two red-hot strikers right now, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Alexander Lacazette, both in great form. They killed it in the last round in the semifinal against Spain's Valencia. Arsenal going through on the two-legged aggregate there, seven goals to three, and Aubameyang and Lacazette scored all of the goals there for Arsenal. So this is going to be a very big game for them, and uh, these two strikers... This is why Arsenal paid so much money to get both of them to get them to a cup final. Now, Chelsea, they are also going in very, very hot. As I've said before, they didn't have such a uh, big scoreline win in their two-legged aggregate. Now, they barely got through, uh, to be honest, against Germany's Eintracht Frankfurt. And in many ways, Chelsea were the uh, second-best team in that two-legged series. They had to go to penalties to defeat Eintracht Frankfurt. Uh, in the second leg there, but they made it through, and now they'll be confident that they can beat Arsenal. Big news for Chelsea, though. They're going to be without defensive midfielder N'Golo Kante, who has a muscle injury, a knee injury, actually. And uh, that's going to be big because Kante is the man who protects that back four and that defense. And with those two strikers that Arsenal have, uh, Aubameyang and Lacazette, that's going to be a big miss for Arsenal, or sorry, for Chelsea with Kante out. Now, uh, Chelsea is favored to win this game by sports books, as well as the Z Code system prediction has picked them to win this game. Now, I am going to go against that because I think Arsenal are the better team going into this. I think they finished um, a little bit better than Chelsea did. Chelsea looked a little bit fatigued there at the end of the season. And one of the key factors here is manager Unai Emery won three consecutive Europa League championships with Sevilla when he was the coach over there. So I I'm really backing Arsenal to get the win in this game. And Chelsea also, they are having a little bit of uh, managerial disruption at the moment because it looks like manager Mauricio Sarri will be heading to Italy to take over Juventus. So I'm going with Arsenal, backing them uh, to win this game. I think they're slightly the better team. And uh, my, man, my money is on Arsenal to win against Chelsea in the Europa League final. Now let's look over at the Champions League final, which will take place on Saturday this week with Liverpool taking on Tottenham Hotspur. So as you can see here, we've got Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur on Saturday, 
June the 1st. This year is going by very fast uh, with the football season now coming to an end. But we've got Liverpool and Tottenham. Now, this is Liverpool's second straight Champions League final that they will be playing in. And last year, unfortunately, they lost to Real Madrid uh, in that game in the final. Um, a lot of goalkeeping errors there from Loris Karius. And that was what prompted Liverpool to pay such big bucks to sign Alison Becker from Roma. And he has come up trumps this season for Liverpool. He's kept them in a lot of games. And without him, Liverpool would not have made it to the Champions League final. Liverpool have made three cup finals in four seasons under manager Jurgen Klopp. So they are on an upward swing. They just barely missed out on the Premier League title, losing by one point to Manchester City. So Liverpool can cap off a fantastic season here with a win over Tottenham. Tottenham, not going to be pushovers, but one thing is with Tottenham, we're not really sure about striker Harry Kane going into this game. He's been out since since April with an ankle injury. He's not played. He's not going to be match fit, but Spurs are going to get him in the squad at uh, some way. Not sure if he's going to start, not sure if he's going to come off the bench, but to me, they're going to be really risking it if they uh, start him because he's he's not played since middle of April when he hurt his ankle against Manchester City. So that's a big loss for Tottenham Hotspur. Now, Liverpool in the semifinals, they lost the first leg to Barcelona 3-0 and then came back with a miraculous comeback, 4-0 win in the second leg to go through to the final. One of the, one of the most incredible games I have ever seen and... Um, they will have lots of confidence going into this final against Spurs. But Spurs, they had their own miraculous comeback, uh, coming back from three goals down against Ajax in the semifinal. They scored three goals in the final 45 minutes to win that series on the away goals rule. And uh, that last goal coming from Lucas Moore with the last kick of the game. What a fantastic game that was. And this is going to be a really good game between these two teams, especially if you're a neutral. Uh, this is going to be a very good game. Now, they played twice in the Premier League during the season. Liverpool took both games 2-1 uh, in each. The first game was a little bit more straightforward. Liverpool had that thing pretty much wrapped up after uh, 56 minutes. Uh, Spurs did get one goal back in the 90th minute to make it look interesting on paper, but Liverpool really dominated that game. Second game played at Anfield. Uh, Spurs much better in that game, and Liverpool ended up only pulling out the victory in the 90th minute, courtesy of an own goal from Spurs' Toby Alderweireld. So this is going to be a, what I think will be a close game with both teams here, uh, but my pick is for Liverpool to come away with a win and Jurgen Klopp to finally get a European trophy with Liverpool after two unsuccessful times. And um, this game could be everything for Liverpool to kick them on forward, uh, bringing in more players, more high-quality players, and again, challenging Manchester City next season for that Premier League title. So my pick is Liverpool to get the win over Tottenham Hotspur. And I think if you're going to be betting on a player, a Liverpool player to get a goal in this game, I think Sadio Mane is a fantastic bet to get a goal. He shared the golden boot with Mohamed Salah and Pierre, um, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang during the regular season in the Premier League with 22 goals. And he's in fine form uh, going into this game. So Liverpool to win this game, Sadio Mane to score. And in the other game, we've got Arsenal to get a big win there against Chelsea. Now, guys, of course, you can go and check out the buddy, the soccer buddy tool. You guys can go and check out the soccer buddy tool and use that to help you make your educated bets and wagers and predictions on all the games this weekend, whether it be in the Europa League or the Champions League. A lot of soccer still going on around the world because this is a sport that just doesn't stop. And we've got big tournaments coming up this summer that you can follow on Z Code system. So, guys, good luck with your betting this weekend on the Europa League and the Champions League. And we'll see you next week here at Z-Code System.